Hello, my friends. Welcome to another mini message. Today, Wednesday, when I'll be talking about John chapter 7, 25 to 31. Could this be the Christ? Some of the people who lived in Jerusalem started to ask each other, Isn't this the man they are trying to kill? But here he is, speaking in public, and they say nothing to him. Could our leaders possibly believe that he is the Messiah? But how could he be? For we know where this man comes from. When the Messiah comes, he will simply appear. No one will know where he comes from. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he called out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I come from. But I'm not here on my own. The one who sent me is true, and you don't know him. But I know him because I come from him, and he sent me to you. Then the leaders tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his time had not yet come. Many among the crowds at the temple believed in him. After all, they said, Would you expect the Messiah to do more miraculous signs than this man has done? Amen, amen, you know. These many Jewish people, you know, from the tribe of Judah, right? The much, many people believed, you know. The little, my, little that he was, they listened to the word of God and they were afraid to come out forward, you know, and say things. The more and more say, wow, but they let him talk more, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's for you and I, you know. Yeah. The more that we come here to the Bible, the Every day we open our Bibles, our faith is going to grow, grow and get strong, and then we're going to believe, right? Jesus always said, believe, right? Believe in me, right? And then you will have eternal life, right? You have abundant life. So he says, uh, so people, a lot of people were doubting, right? He says, you know, you know me where I come from, right? Because they say, oh, the Messiah, is, when he comes, we're going to know where he come from, right? You know where I come from, right? And, and you know where I am from, right? But it says, um, I didn't come from my own self, right? It says, uh, I, uh, but the one that sent me, he's truthful, right? He's the truth. You know, the Father sent the, the Son, Jesus, right? The Word of God. He said, to whom you don't know, right? Can you repeat number uh, 28? Okay. 28. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he called out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I come from, but I'm not here on my own. The one who sent me is true, and you don't know him. Yeah. You don't know him, the one that sent me, you know, to people that didn't believe in him, right? Because, like he says yesterday, like we learned yesterday, right? There's a lot of people that mostly given the law, but they weren't following the law. They wouldn't do it. It's like a, in our times. You can know a lot about the Bible, but are you doing the will of the Father? Are you letting go of those things that God's telling you to let go? Or are you just holding tight to those things, right? So that's what Jesus is telling you and me, you know? You know where I come from. You know who I am, you know? But, uh, as a, uh, uh, but he said, you don't know the Father, right? Because only the ones that do the will of the Father, they will know the Father, right? So if you're not doing, you know, you know, you say you you know, maybe you say because you go, you are a Christian, you go to a church, you say, yeah, I know the Bible because somebody's teaching you, but have you read the whole Bible? Do you know who God is? Do you know Jesus? Right? You can say I'm Christian, but he's, God, Jesus is telling you, you don't know him. You don't know the Father, so, right? <clears throat> because you don't believe in the Word of God. You're not doing you know, your testimony is showing that you are not following Jesus. It says, can you repeat number 29 now, please? Mm -hmm. But I know him because I come from him and he sent me to you. Yeah, he knows the Father. Jesus knows the Father, you know, because Jesus and the Father are only one. You know, as, as we know, Jesus came out of the Father. He says, uh, because I came from, yes. for, I came from him. I know him because I, I come from him. Yeah, I mm -hmm. come from him right mm -hmm. from him he's he's inside i come from him in my in my in spanish says i proceed from him mm. yeah so as we know the word of god the word of god the word of the father become a flash right in in chapter one that's what i said john is i like john a lot because he revealed jesus more mm -hmm. you know who jesus is jesus is the word of god and the word of god the bible is the way to heaven the word of god is just the the way Reading the Word of God, eating the Word of God, is the truth. The Word of God is the truth, and the Word of God is life, right? But you having the Word of God, you have eternal life, and you have abundant life in this era as well, right? So that's how we know. Oh wow! So I didn't know that before. Before I read my whole Bible, so I always knew, oh Jesus is up there, whatever. but I know that God is here. I know I don't have to see God looking at the sky saying, praying on God. I come here. I hear for His voice. Jesus said, "My sheep hear my voice," so I hear from Him here. And that's how he empowered me with his spirit. He gave me the peace. He gave me the power to deny myself because it's not easy denying carnal things that we used to do, right? It's tough because since little, we are, we're used to do those things that go against God that we didn't know. 
that we've been taught from our parents or we've been doing religious things that we shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. It's hard to let go. But with God in yourself, because for God it's not impossible, for humans are impossible, it says God in his word, but for God it's not impossible. So when God lives in you, he helps you out. Mm -hmm. So let's be faithful, let's come to him, and then yeah, be in, let's follow him, right? And let's believe. Amen. What's that mm -hmm. I love the book of Proverbs, the, the book of wisdom. It mm -hmm. just makes really difficult things very simple to understand. And it says, wisdom cries out in the public square. And like it's obvious, honestly, mm -hmm. for those that are looking for wisdom. It's easy to find. And we can see Jesus is right here in the public square teaching. And here's the wisdom of the people. They're willing to ask the question, isn't this the man they're trying to kill? Mm -hmm. But here he is, and they don't say anything to him. I mm -hmm. mean, right? Their common sense, their wisdom was speaking to them and telling them, so well, that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. If he's such a bad guy and deserving of death, how come nobody's laying a hand on him and hauling him away? Mm -hmm. Could they believe that he's the Messiah? Mm -hmm. Right? It was that wisdom that's deep down under there. It was starting to bubble up closer to the surface for them to be able to draw it up and really get it. And at the end of it, at, of this passage anyway that we are reading today, we end with the crowds uh, believed in him. Many among the crowds at the temple believed in him. After all, they said, would you expect the Messiah to do more miraculous signs mm -hmm. than this man has done? Mm -hmm. And so at some point, those questions, questions are good. God's not mm -hmm. afraid of our questions. Mm -hmm. He loves our questions. Bring your questions mm -hmm. to God. We may not get the answers to everything, but there's a whole lot of answers in mm -hmm. God's word. Mm -hmm. And many times, if you go looking for one thing, there's 10 other things he wanted to teach you before you even get to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we think we want, we want to learn one way, but wisdom, which is comes from God, there is no wisdom mm -hmm. apart from God, is, is the way. We need to follow Jesus and, and trust his timing to reveal us uh, the things that he wants us to know. But mm -hmm. questions are good. And be, it was these people mm -hmm. that were willing to ask the question that was mm -hmm. so obvious, mm -hmm. wisdom crawling out in the square, mm -hmm. that ended up giving them salvation. They mm -hmm. believed in their Savior. Mm -hmm. So let us be those that not just ask questions as foolish people do, just mm -hmm. to be asking questions, mm -hmm. but ask questions really ready to receive the answer that God has for us. Amen, amen. God bless you, my friends. Bye. Bye.